welcome to day one, where we take a quick look back at what we learned on Sunday so we can bring it forward with us into our week. Now, I've got a question for you. If you had to wear a cast, who would you want to sign it? Now, I was thinking about this and I would totally get a famous author to illustrate mine. Like Eric Carl, maybe he could make my cast into a caterpillar. Or, or I'd get Mo Willems to give me a personalized comic with Gerald and Piggy and Pigeon and like all the squirrels, just all of them. But who would you pick? Talk to your family about that and see what they'd like. You know, having a cast is really hard. Our point this week is that Jesus is there to help you through. He's been through some hard times too. Now, saying that Jesus has been through hard times is quite an understatement. He suffered a lot for us. And he did that because he loves us. He loves us so much. And we know that because it's in the Bible. In fact, it's in our verse this week. Why don't you get out your Bible and we'll look it up together. Our verse this week is in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse two. All right, so you're going to find the book of Hebrews, which is in your New Testament, chapter 12, which is the big number 12, and then the tiny number two. All right. If you don't have it yet, that's all right. Just pause your video and you can read it when you've got it. All right, verse two. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. That part about joy awaiting him, Jesus knew that his suffering would be worth it because he would get to enjoy the presence of God. He'd be, get to be in heaven with his father. And because of his suffering, we get to have a relationship with him too. And because of that, he can be there with us when we go through times that are really hard. Why don't you pray with me and thank God for that? Dear God, thank you for today. I just want to thank you for encouraging us and listening to us when times are hard. I pray all this in your son Jesus' precious name. Amen. All right. Thinking about how much Jesus has helped us in our suffering makes me want to help others. Why don't you talk about that with your family? What are some ways that you can help others when they are suffering? Why don't you talk about that as a family? Then mark your tracker card with a sticker, and we'll see you next time on The Five.